Hi and welcome to Mama Tutorials. Today we're going to have a look at installing and upgrading to Account Edge or Account Edge Plus 2013. If you're installing the Network Edition then please have a look at the video elsewhere. Now before we start, a quick note for payroll users. The 6th of April 2013 tax tables are already included in your 2013 product so you won't need a further update once installed. As you should do before installing any software, check your system requirements. So go to the Apple button, about this Mac, and check your OS version, and that you have an Intel based processor. The next thing we're going to do is go and have a look at our existing Account Edge product. So if we uh, go into Account Edge Plus 2012 in this example, we need to find out some information here before we go ahead and upgrade to 2013. So go to your Accounts Command Center, go to the Company Data Auditor, and record your file name here. So we're using a company file called XYZ Limited, and also record your file's location because we're going to need to know where your file is located when we do the upgrade. Once you've recorded this information, just simply close this window and also record your product serial number. So click on your account edge menu in the top left hand corner of the screen and then choose registration and take a note of your product serial number. We're going to need this when we register our product in the next version. Okay, we can close our account edge 2012. The next thing to do is download and install our new Account Edge 2013 product. So you'll have been advised to do this probably via email or via the website. So here we are on the Mammoth website. In our example, we're going to install Mammoth Account Edge Plus. So just simply click on the link and the download begins. So we can check the progress of our download by clicking in the little download button here in Safari. It might take a couple of minutes to download depending on your speed. OK, and the download is completed, so uh, we can just simply double click our downloaded Account Edge Plus DMG here to start the installation off. And there we go, we can just minimize Safari to uncomplicate the screen and uh, just follow through the, uh, the installation. Eventually, it'll end up with a little splash screen like this. Standard stuff. Just simply drag and drop the Account Edge Plus 2013 application across into the Applications folder on the right there. So click, drag, and drop. Nothing appears to have happened, but uh, but it has. Uh, behind the scenes, all we need to do is just simply double click now our Applications uh, icon here. And there's the Application folder. And there it is, there's our Account Edge Plus 2013 application. Now the next thing to do is a uh, good idea to put the application in the dock. It's easy access. So simply click your Account Edge Plus 2013 application, drag it down, and we can put it here next to our existing Account Edge Plus 2012. So now we've got two Account Edge applications sitting in our dock. We've got the 2013, our new one, and we've got the 2012, our old one, so we can get rid of this old one here. Just drag it onto the desktop and disappear. That hasn't got rid of the application itself, it's still on your computer, but it uh, avoids you getting confused as to which program you should be using going forward. Okay, we can also close our Account Edge Plus installation window here as well. And go ahead and open our 2013 product for the first time. So click on our new icon in the dock. And here we are with uh, Account Edge Plus 2013. You'll see at the top of the window that it says this trial version expires in 30 days. Please register. Uh, all new products do need registering, so we just simply click into the register window here and complete our details. We took a note of our serial number earlier, so let's just go ahead and do that now. and just simply click the register button and there you are thank you for registering let's just close the registration window 
now at the top of our welcome window it says your service agreement expires in X number of days. Great, so we've installed our product, we've got our new dock icon, we've run our new 2013 product, and now let's do some upgrading of our previous files. So the first thing we're going to do is upgrade our customized forms, invoices, templates, and so on. And we'll do that from the company file maintenance option down here. Migrate previous version. As it says in the getting started window here, Account Edge allows you to have customized forms and reports and so on. And that these will be created in a folder called Account Edge Plus 2013 GB, which will be in your documents folder. So let's click OK. And here we are with the new Migration Assistant window. It shows you your previous version, in this case Account Edge Plus 2012. So we know in our case that we were using 2012, so we can go ahead and click Start. OK, a little information window pops up saying that files from our previous version were copied to our current version. If no customized forms or templates were found, then you'll get a message saying that no files are copied across. Click OK. All right, so having upgraded our customized templates, we can now go ahead and upgrade our company file. Go back down to the company file maintenance options and choose upgrade company file. The upgrade assistant welcome window appears. We can just click next. The first thing we need to do in the upgrade here is to choose the company file that we want to upgrade. Now we recorded that earlier, the beginning of our process in version 12, our earlier version. So now we just need to tell the upgrade assistant where to find that file. And it's found it in our account edge plus 2012 GB folder. And here is our company file, XYZ Limited. We'll simply click on this and click open. All right, at the bottom of the window, it now says what we're going to save this upgraded company file as. Uh, it's automatically chosen the new Account Edge Plus 2013 GB folder, but it's got exactly the same name, XYZ Limited, in this case, as our original company file. So a good idea here is to click the Save As button, and at the very minimum, just simply change the name of the company file slightly to indicate that it's our version 13 product. So in this case, our new company file is going to be called XYZ Limited V13. Uh, so being saved in our Account Edge Plus 2013 GB folder. Okay, when you're happy with the name and you're happy with the location, simply click Save and just double check that uh, your upgrade file is your old XYZ Limited or whatever the name of your company is, and the new file is XYZ V13. Excellent. Click Next. Just get a confirmation window again, just to confirm the, up the upgraded files name and location and the destination uh, upgraded company files name and location. And if you're happy that that's correct, just click Next. And the upgrade will start. This will take a few minutes. It depends on the size of your company file and the speed of your computer. So let's just let this go through. And we get the congratulations window. If we have another company file to upgrade, because you may have one, two, three, four companies, then simply click next and go through the same procedure again, upgrading your other company files. In this case, we've only got one company file, so we can just simply click on finish. That will return us back to the welcome window. So having upgraded our forms and upgraded our company file, we can now go ahead and open up our upgraded company file. So click on the browse option to open the company for the first time and ensure that you open up the company file in its new home, which is, uh, as, we, as we noted earlier, the Account Edge Plus 2013 GB folder within our Documents folder. So just double click on that. And here we have our upgraded XYZ Limited V13 company file. Highlight that company file and click Open. Enter your username and password. And here we are in our Account Edge Plus 2013 product. And just to conclude our upgrade and make sure that everything is perfectly correct, we just check the version by going to Account Edge Plus and then About Account Edge Plus and check the version Account Edge Plus 2013. Good. And lastly, click on the Setup button at the top, down to Preferences, 
and it's always a good idea in the system tab to make sure that automatically check for updates is selected therefore ensuring that going forward we're always on the latest version of account edge should an update become available excellent thank you very much for watching if you need any further assistance or advice you can go on to the website that's www.mamut.co.uk forward slash mac forward slash support